Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking This Week in Bonus LEGO News, where every Saturday I bring you the LEGO stories you need to know. We've got another awesome week with the reveal of the sets for Marvel's Eternals. More from Home Alone and the Fender Stratocaster. The return of Toys R Us. Could there finally be more Lord of the Rings and the Nanny? Plus, are we finally getting the release date for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga? This video is brought to you by my LEGO Masters podcast, Talk Bricks Masters. This week I break down all the puppet theme fun on episode 8 with former contestants Tyler and Aaron. And you can listen to this episode on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or more using the links in the description below. And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with Lego deals from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up over at Zabby, we've got the Guardian ship for 10% off with code Marvel Ship. And Harry Potter sets are 15% off with code HP Lego. Next over at Best Buy, the Lego Hidden Side JB's Ghost Lab is 50% off. And over at Walmart, the Lego City Wildlife Rescue ATV is 35% off. And Lego Idea Central Perk is 20% off also at Amazon. From Lego City, the Fire Helicopter Response is 43% off. And Lego Video Candy Mermaid and Punk Pirate sets are just over 30% off. And if you want to pick anything up and support the channel, you can find these deals and more in the description below. First up in LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga news, while it was teased that we'd be getting our first look at the game at Gamescom's opening night live, we now have official confirmation from the host Jeff Keighley. In his tweet, he also teased this image of the game featuring Rey. And while of course this doesn't show us anything about the gameplay, I can say that the characters and environment look really exceptional, and I'm hopeful it's because of this level of polish that they've delayed the game as much as they have. I know as a huge fan of the LEGO Star Wars games, I'm really excited to finally hopefully get a chance to see the game and find out when it's going to be finally released, as it really feels like we've been waiting forever for this one, and I'm eager to see if there'll be any more lingering questions after opening night live on the 25th. Next up this week we got the Marvel Eternals final trailer, and while the sets had previously leaked in a catalog, thanks to Yahoo, we now have the official photos of the four sets coming for the film. So of course we have to break it all down, but I'll use some of the catalog photos because some of those are better. First up we've got Rise of the Domo, with 1,040 pieces, retailing for $100 and exclusive to Target. This set is the largest in the wave, and it's definitely one of the more unique sets we've gotten. This ship has a very unique triangular shape, and I especially love all of the circular details, especially the printed pieces. From this building shot, we can see that the ship opens up with lots of flaps to access a quite substantial interior, including a front cockpit and more interesting circular pieces. And I like that while this set could have been kind of plain, they really made the most of it. One of the other main builds here is for one of the deviants, and I really like the unique color scheme and the way that it has tons of posability. Plus, they all seem to have these interesting tendrils. And the final build here is for a buildable character of what seems to be the movie's villain, Crow. The build itself is highly poseable, and I really love that brand new printed headpiece. This set also includes six minifigures. First up, we've got Icarus, who looked awesome in the trailer, and I love this blue outfit with all the Jack Kirby-inspired printing. Next up, we've got Thena, who again features great printing on the torso and the legs, and I really like that unique spear weapon. Next up, we've got Cersei, who seems to be a central character, and her green outfit with all the printing down to the toes looks really cool. Next up, we've got Makari with another detailed print, and that awesome hairpiece that was recently introduced in LEGO City. And exclusive to this set, we've got Fastos with that awesome face print and his purple color design, as well as Druig in black, again with a nice print with the dark red details. Next up, we've got In Arisham Shadow with 493 pieces, retailing for $60. And the main build for this set is, of course, Arsham the Judge, one of the Celestials. The build here has a really unique look, and while it's quite lanky, it's very poseable, and I especially love how tall it is compared to all the minifigures. Plus, the center of the chest lights up with a light brick. And the other build in this set is a small build for one of the Deviants, with a ton of details for the wings. This set includes four minifigures. First up, we've got Icarus and Cersei, the same as the last set. And exclusive to this set, we've got Ajax on the left with all the cool gold printing, and Kingo on the right with that awesome face print. Next up, we've got Deviant Ambush with 197 pieces, retailing for $20. The main build for this set is another one of the Deviants, and I like these larger builds for the Deviants with all this fun color and posability. Included here are three minifigures. Back in this set, we've got Thena and Makari. And exclusive to this set, we have Gilgamesh in that awesome gold outfit with these brand new fist pieces. The final set is the Eternals Aerial Assault with 133 pieces, retailing for $10. The build for the Deviant is certainly smaller, but I do like a lot of the details and the fact that it can stand all the way up. This set also includes two minifigures, and exclusive to this set, we've got the Sprite minifigure, again with nice torso printing, plus the minifigure for Icarus. Overall, after seeing this trailer, I'm very excited and finally excited to get my hands on these LEGO sets. And the sets will release on October 1st in time for the film's premiere. Next up in LEGO Ideas News, we've got updated rumors about the Home Alone and Fender Stratocaster sets. First up for the Home Alone set of the McAllister house, we were getting rumors that it would be only a $100 set, which would have seen the original project's dollhouse-like design scaled down to meet that price point. But the good news is, is that the rumors are now saying that this set will retail for $250, which should allow the set to be quite larger, kind of like the Simpsons house, and feature all the rooms to play out the various scenes from the movie. The set is also now rumored to include five minifigures. Of course, the obvious 
inclusion would be Kevin McAllister himself, and it wouldn't be the movie without the two wet bandits, Marv and Harry. And my theory for the other two characters is that there'll be choices that center around what happens when Kevin's alone, which is why I think the other two could be the neighbor Marley and of course the pizza guy. Keep the change, you filthy animal. And I have to imagine we'll get the official announcement for this set sometime soon. As for that rumor about the $100 price point, it turns out they were talking about the black Stratocaster set, which will be coming out soon. With many colors shown off in the original LEGO Ideas submission, it's interesting that we're going to be getting the black color. And I'm really curious to see how big the guitar will end up being and it will come with the amp and accessories. And again, with both these sets rumored to release in September, we should be getting official announcements shortly. Next up, beloved classic toy retailer Toys R Us has announced their comeback in a formal partnership with the store Macy's. As of now, Toys R Us toys can be bought on Macy's website in a special Toys R Us section. Though sadly, there's not much Lego. But it's further reported that 400 Macy's stores will also feature a physical Toys R Us section, which hopefully is large and substantial enough to relive a little bit of our childhood. As someone who's very nostalgic for Toys R Us, I think this is pretty exciting news, and I only hope it means more fun things for us Lego fans, as I always love picking up sets that were exclusive to Toys R Us, and of course, Bricktober packs filled with minifigures we couldn't get anywhere else. So fingers crossed this really is an epic comeback. And if you want to check out the new site and support the channel, I've left links in the description below. Next up in Lego Ideas news, there are two more projects that hit 10,000 supporters this week. First up, we've got Minas Tirith, which is famously from The Lord of the Rings. The project's designer aimed to recreate that famous siege that took place in the movie The Return of the King. And while I'd say most of the build is in more of a micro scale, the lowest section is a little bit scaled up so that you can play with minifigures. On the whole, there's some pretty nice shaping, and I think they captured the design quite well. And of course, it's just making me incredibly nostalgic for the original Lord of the Rings line, as I hope they make that again soon. But this is yet another Lord of the Rings project, and some of the ones recently haven't made it through. And the other project was The Nanny, based on the classic 90s sitcom. The building depicted here is Maxwell Sheffield's house, and aims to recreate most of the main sets that we see in the show. This modular style building completely opens up to reveal the interior rooms with all sorts of fun play sets to play out the stories. And it's clear through the designer's attention to detail that they were a huge fan of the show. And while the show has gotten some recent popularity due to it being on streaming, I'm very curious to see if LEGO would go for it, or if it would have enough of a global appeal. As we've seen projects based on far more well-known properties still not make it through the round of review, but as always, we'll just have to wait and see. Next up, another new set news, we've got two new sets that were announced for the holiday season. First up, we've got the Christmas Penguin with 244 pieces, retailing for $15. This set looks great and is the latest of the brick-built animals that they've come out for the holiday seasons. The build for the penguin looks really nice and has poseable wings, plus it's sitting on this really cool base with a Christmas tree and some presents. And the other set is the Polar Bear and Gift Pack with 142 pieces, retailing for $10. And this small set also looks nice and continues their line of ornament-styled mini-builds. The gift looks nice in red and green with sticker details and even a tag to write who it's for. Plus, the build for the Polar Bear is super cute with that nice details for the scarf. And while I don't collect the ornaments, I do think they do look nice on a tree. Both sets release on October 1st, and if you want to pick them up and support the channel, I've left a link in the description below. Next up, LEGO Education has expanded their spike line with the Spike Essential Pack. Meant for classroom settings, this set retails for $275, includes 449 pieces, and 5 hardware components, including newer ones like the LED Matrix. I grew up using the original LEGO Mindstorms in school and had a ton of fun with it, and I'm very jealous of all the kids that will grow up playing with these sets. And I think I would even have a ton of fun playing with all the parts and working through the curriculum with all the different lessons that are included. I always had a ton of fun building the Mindstorm sets and of course programming it, but it seems like the language that they use here is going to be far more applicable if they ever want to go into computer science in the future. So there you have it folks, that was this week in bonus LEGO news, and I can't believe that there's even more to be excited about this week. After seeing the trailer for Marvel's Eternals, I'm really excited to get my hands on those sets and of course check out the movie after all this time. And there's even more specifically for us adult fans with the Home Alone set and Stratocaster guitar on the way. And I, like many of you, of course, am just very excited to see what comes of the Gamescom announcements at opening night live for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, as I'm very hopeful we'll finally get an updated release date. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below as it really helps the channel, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations! And be sure to email me from the About page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win, and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted, because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one!
Hey guys, Michael here. Cook and Watch Last Week's video featuring the Ahsoka Brickhead, Marvel's Return, Pixar's Up, and FC Barcelona Stadium, and so much more. And don't forget to subscribe.